guys, Laura here again with another mini vid for you. But today we're going to be doing some tips and tricks for spin pole um, for beginners or people that maybe want to try out spin pole but they're a little nervous too because it does look a little intimidating when you first see someone flying around a pole. So for today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to take your X pole specifically out of static and into spin. Um, go over some tips and tricks that make spin pole a little easier to handle and some strengthening exercises so that you can just murder it. So yeah, let's just get straight to it. First and foremost, how do we take our X pole out of static mode and into spin mode? Let me show you. Down here at the base of your pole, you're going to see a little hole um, on either side um, that aligns with an X that you see on the base here. Um, you probably won't be able to see it in the angle that I have right now, but trust me, there is an X on either side of the pole and your little holes are supposed to align up with the X, okay? And again, this is for an X pole. Okay, so what we're gonna do now to take it out of static, because as you can see right now, it is in static, so this is, um, the mode I like to have it on when I'm doing flips uh, because it just makes it safer. But to get it out of spin, all you're gonna need is just this little Allen key thing here. Usually your X pole comes with one. If not, you can probably pick up the right one at any kind of home hardware store. So what you're gonna do, again, righty tighty, lefty loosey, okay? So I'm gonna go left, give it a couple of good turns here. Okay, stick the end in, release it. Okay, so I've got this little thread now loose and coming out, but it's still flush with the pole, okay? I can rub my finger over it without hurting myself. If you have it too far out of the pole, um, you're gonna end up catching your skin on it and hurting yourself, and uh, then you also risk losing that piece. And that is definitely a pain in the butt to replace. I've lost them before, and I've had to just go ahead and get brand new poles. Okay, so now that we've unscrewed the one, we're gonna unscrew the other one here at the back, so they're both flush, and look at that. See how the hole's moving around? Now, it is officially in spin mode and ready for us to rock it, okay? And just a quick little how to get it out of spin mode. You're going to twist it until the hole lines up with the X again, and then you twist it right. Remember, righty tighty, lefty loosey. There you go, super easy. Okay, now we have it in spin mode, so we are ready to get busy with some exercises. If you are brand, brand new to spin pole, you need to keep in mind that in order to be able to be successful with a trick on spin, you should have it solid on static. So if I'm gonna do my fireman spin on a spin pole, I should be able to do it confidently on a static pole before I even try it on spin, just for my own safety. Um, but yeah, because we want to train safe, we don't want to hurt ourselves, because then that just makes training so much not so fun. So another rule of thumb too, if you are spinning too fast, stick a limb out and you will slow down. I will show you exactly what I mean, okay? So I'm gonna take into this really fast. For a beginner, you shouldn't be jumping into your spin pole, okay? You just take it nice and easy. So I can show you what it looks like crazy fast and an easy way to slow yourself down. Okay, I'm going pretty fast here, all right? If I wanna slow down, I'll stick a leg out. Okay, so if you're ever shoot around the pole and you're a little bit scared, stick either a leg out, an arm out, whatever is safest for you and sh you should be able to slow down a little bit. I'm gonna show you one more example about how to adjust your spin speed while you're in the air. So here's another. Nice and slow because I'm out, so my body is open. Now I'm gonna speed up because my body is closest to the pole, my center of gravity is right here in the middle I don't want to slow down a bit. So I'm going to stick my legs out. I want to slow down even more. So I'm going to bring my whole body off the pole. Okay, and now I'm a little bit dizzy. <laughs> okay, always a good rule to keep in mind if you're a little bit nervous about spinning fast, throw out a limb and you should slow down. Okay, so now together we're going to try a pole climb to a pole sit. So you can do a cross-legged pole sit or a straight-legged pole sit, whatever you are comfortable with and whatever you're confident with. So we're gonna start off with a very slow pole climb. Again, 
proper pole climb. I like to do a forearm climb. Okay, so to get to this climb, obviously you're gonna do a regular pole climb. You're gonna put your shin along the pole so that your ankle is on one side and your knee is hanging out to the other side, okay? And my other leg is gonna come out and in front so I can squeeze my knees together, okay, for that hold. Okay, I also like to do mine in a forearm style. So, so the same leg that I put up against the pole like this is gonna be the same arm that I'm grabbing the pole in my forearm. And they're both kind of on the pole the same way. I have one part of my limb, here, better angle. I have one part of my limb, see here's my elbow, here it's my ankle. On one side of the pole, on the other side of the pole, I have the other part of my limb, okay? So then that is my nice solid hold there. And then I just lift off, okay? and bring that other leg up in front, squeezing through my knees. Okay, when we're here, we're gonna push up, switch your arms, bring your legs up into your climb, push up. Okay, re-grip, sit. Okay, your pole climb to your sit is a really good way to practice getting comfortable with your speed and then doing like a quick little transition. So let's do it on the other side now. I'm gonna go a little bit fast this time. I'm only gonna do one climb just because I don't really have enough ceiling space to do two climbs here and like not cut off my head. So. Push, regrip. Okay, and then this is here where you can play with your spin. Okay, legs in, legs out. This is a side hip sit. That is a really good exercise for you to practice during your training to get a little more comfortable spin pole. Okay, so now I'm gonna teach you two different strengthening techniques that are beginner friendly, but they're also very challenging. Um, these are just two different ways for you to up your spin game and to overall strengthen what you're gonna be doing on the pole as soon as you take flight. Okay, so for the first one is that we're going to be doing a pull up in spin mode. So when I do this in spin mode, I'm gonna have my hands just up above my head and I'm gonna pull my shoulders down away from my ears, stick my head out like so, and my body, it's gonna look like kinda like a banana, okay? So I'm gonna squeeze through my glutes, point my toes, pull up, and release. I'm gonna be doing this motion while we're spinning, okay? So you're getting a nice, upper body workout, working those muscles, strengthening those shoulders in that pull up motion so that you can do things further up the pole while you're on spin. So here we go. To get a, a good momentum for myself, I like to kind of step into it like this. Okay, again, I'm gonna step into it like this. So I'm gonna reach with my outside hand while I swing my outside leg and center my body to the pole, okay? You wanna be, make, while you're doing this pull up motion, you wanna make sure that your chest is center with the pole, and you're not coming out to the side, coming out to the other side. Okay, so a good starting point um, when you're first getting used to these exercises would be uh, aim for about three to five pull ups on each side, okay? Time saving purposes, I'm gonna be doing three on each side just to show you guys how it looks like when you put it all together. Okay, so we're gonna start with my good side doing three pull ups. One, two, three. Okay, sometimes your body will travel so you're not really squared up with your pole, and that's okay, just come on down, readjust your grip and go at it again, okay? So let's do three on my bad side. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. One, two. <sighs> my bad side is always exposing me. Okay, so. <laughs> I love that I like consistently show you guys how bad my bad side is through these videos. But I'm not even sorry, because how are you supposed to learn anything if you're not actually pushing through your comfort zone? So this next strengthening exercise is a little bit more challenging than that pull-up, but I promise you, the more you do these, the easier your inversions are gonna get while you're doing spin pull. So I'm gonna show you what these look like first. So 
So to do this one successfully, you're going to need to have a good understanding of how to do a proper inversion, okay? Because we are going to be holding as if we're inverting into a helicopter, but we're not. We're kicking up and around, and up and around without touching the ground. So what I'm going to do is my inside hand is going to come like my forearm along the pole. My outside hand is going to come up above it, cup grip, that means hands together. And I'm going to be engaging those shoulders, AKA pulling those shoulders away from your ears. And I'm going to be holding my body up while I'm doing a fan kick with my legs. So I'll try and slow this down for you so you can get a better understanding of what I'm talking about. But I'm gonna kick with this outside leg. And what I'm trying to do is kick out up and back, okay? One more time, I'm gonna kick across the pole, up and back. My other leg is just going to follow, don't put too much thought into that other leg, okay? This is basically building up your shoulder strength and that core muscle that you're gonna need to do a really smooth, what's the word? To do a really smooth helicopter while you're in the air on spin pole, okay? So let's, so for, since these ones are way more challenging than the pull-ups, we're, we're going to aim to do two to five on each side. Okay, so let's start with my good side. I'm going to set myself up here and I'm really going to swing out with this outside leg, swing into the other side of the pole, up into the air and back down, repeat it without touching the ground. Okay, here we go. Up and over, holding. Bring your jets. Up and over. Holding. So I'll show you one more time, super, super slow, just in case that was like a little too fast. Remember, we're going up and over, and you're gonna kind of land on this side. So, different angle. Your booty is gonna be on the other side of the pole, and you're gonna feel the pole touching your back. Once you get to this point, you're gonna continue to pull through, okay, that pole, and turn back facing forward to the same spot you were and repeat the kicking with the outside leg. Okay, I'm gonna show you one more time on my good side. So we're gonna kick out with the outside leg, back's on the pole, readjust. Up, readjust. Okay, these are super challenging, but they do a hell of a lot for your strength. Okay, and yes, I will show you my bad side. I think I've only been able to do one of these on my bad side, but today we're going for two, okay? Here's looking at you. Challenge yourself with me. Here we go. So remember, I'm kicking with that outside leg. Other side of the pole. Ooh, readjust. Ah! <laughs> so... So if you're like me and you have a really hard time on your bad side, it is going to look like a struggle. And yes, it felt like a struggle, okay? So I'm trying to catch my breath here and I only did two on that side, but you have to start some. Okay, so a little recap of some things to keep in mind when you're going into spin pole, say this is your first time, or you're just trying to strengthen your spin pole tricks. Remember, the closer your body is to the pole, the faster you're going to go. If you feel like you're going too fast, stick out a limb, you should be able to slow down pretty quickly and make it a little more safely for you to dismount. You don't have to jump into spin pole, okay? You can gently lift yourself into spin pole. If you're facing dizziness, spin the opposite direction. Sometimes that works. It will reorientate your body so you're not so like, ah, when you get off the pole. So that's a good trick for dizziness. Another thing is to cup your hands like so and like look into your palms while your palms are on your face and then slowly pull your hands away and do that a couple of times and it should help with your dizziness um, that helped me a lot when i was first learning spin um, another thing to keep in mind is that any nausea or disorientation that you will get from spin usually there are some exceptions usually gets better the more you practice it. When I first started spin, I was quite nauseous and I'd get dizzy really fast and I couldn't really do too much other than a couple of tricks on it. The more I worked it, the more comfortable I got with it um, and I, my nausea went away. 
I don't have to take gravel when I do a spin pull now. Now, that's not the same for everyone. Some people have really bad vertigo and this is incredibly difficult for them. And for those of you, I am sorry. I don't really know how to fix that. If you're adding those simple little conditioning exercises into your training on a weekly basis, then not only will you get more comfortable spin, but you will get stronger because you're doing more work. So it's like a win-win in my opinion. But anyway, also too, uh, you may have noticed I am a day late with my posting. I don't know why I told myself I was gonna post on Mondays because I work night shift Wednesday to Tuesday. So the official release days for my YouTube vids will be on Tuesdays now because these are my days off. So this is the best day for me to record. But yeah, so from here on going forward, I will be posting these YouTube videos every Tuesday. So thank you to my current subscribers for supporting me. I appreciate you guys so, so much. And again, I'm going to leave my links down below. Check me out. Hit me up for some lessons. Now that things are opening up again, I am now free for in-person lessons within Edmonton. Uh, but yeah, happy training. Have fun with this and have a great day, everyone.